Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Hot Carl Bingo cards, check. Highlighter, check. Venture C shirt. Tomorrow, I, I'm buying one tomorrow. Into the Horizon, the new one by Venture This is my reaction, my name is Old School Nerd. I do have my Hot Carl Bingo cards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post these as files on my Patreon, not behind the paywall in front of it so everyone can download them if you want to play along. Or you can make your own Hot Carl Bingo cards. I mean, they're not hard. I mean, it, he pretty much puts the same stuff in his videos, so you'll be able to check it out. In fact, I was told by someone, he saw the bingo cards, he took pictures of them, and now he's using them as things that he has to put in his videos just to mess with me. And That's fine. I'm okay with it. Also, I have, other, I have things I want to show you. Uh, tomorrow, when we go to Houston, hey, if you're coming to uh, Houston tomorrow to see Moonspell and Elaine and um, Oceans of Slumber and the Mighty Ventercy, come see me. I'll have uh, magnets to give away. Also, check this out for the wall. <laughs> Going up there, right above Ginger. It's going to go right there. And don't worry, I have one to go right there there as well it comes in the mail today cannot wait also um because i have such a this storied relationship with ventercy and they've been so amazing to my channel you know what i did look 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 check this out look i got them their own shirt see old school nerd this one's for riley it's roughly the size of a boat sail because he is too in fact on the back it says this Head and shoulders above the rest, literally. So that's Riley's shirt. I would show you all the other members of Ventracy shirts, but they haven't seen them yet, and it's a secret. So I thought I'd spoil Riley's because, um, yeah, he doesn't mind. He told me I could. Actually, I haven't spoken to him, but I have it on authority. His wife said it's okay. So, all right, here we go. Here we I've got my bingo cards. I'm ready. All of Ventracy's information will be in the description below. Please check them out. So many people are starting to re realize how good Ventracy is. If you're like me, I've known for about two years, so. All right. Tomorrow, Houston. Come find us. I'm giving away magnets. If you see me, get a magnet. Until I run out. By the way, once I'm out of these magnets, we're not making any more like this. These are limited. Uh, we have a new design coming up. So, here we go. Ventracy. Into the Horizon, which should be called On the Horizon, a song about garlic knots. It's true. When you look at the thumbnail of this video and you see Avian reaching back like this, the way they got that shot was Hot Carl looked at her and said, Okay, Avian, here we go. I need you to keep your feet planted. Don't move your feet. But there are garlic knots right behind you. And she went, <laughs> She went totally matrix for garlic knots. All right, here we go. I don't think I'm ready, but I'm pressing play anyway. M3. Now I see nature. I'm afraid to relax and enjoy this because it's beautiful, it's ethereal, it's soft, it's alluring, it makes you feel comfortable. The problem is that young lady there, she can flip that on a dime and I'm waiting for it to drop. And I'm waiting for the, for the demon screech or the harsh vocal from hell or garlic knot. I'm waiting for something and I'm so not used, I'm, I'm not used to this, the, the beauty of, of this soft, beautiful tone 
to go this long. So I'm kind of like, you know, you trust them, you don't trust it. Does that make sense? You know what I mean. Little back dress. Close up nature. Pacific Northwest. Go, Jeremy, go. Really? Jeremy did that whole run up, and I'm like, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Dump out. Really? See, I think they're messing with me now. They're putting in all the obligatory like stuff, like extreme close up. Um, uh, We've got little small black dress, uh, dark forest. They're all here. But nowhere on my bingo card does it say soft, soft smoothie jazz ballad. I think they're messing with me. And also, Carl put her right at the edge of the freezing cold water, but didn't put her in the water. Okay, if this is your first ever reaction to me and Venter, so you're gonna be like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? Play this song, you're ruining the reaction, blah, 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 blah. This is beyond this beautiful, 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 amazing song. It is one of the most beautiful tones I've ever heard from, the, from Avian, and I've heard a lot of amazing tones. She does a demon screech, she does a harsh vocal, she does a super high piercing belting noise, but this soft, melodic, just alto, breathy tone Now I think they're just messing with me. I think they're literally trying to mess with me. I think they're like, Old Schooner is going to see this on Thursday, so when he walks in the room Friday, we can all just go, <laughs> and they might. They might. I mean, it probably will. So many jokes to tell and I was gonna have fun this whole time and now I'm getting drawn in there's such a vulnerability um Avian's one of the most sweet genuine fun loving people in the world and when she gets on stage she turns it's a doppelganger effect right she flips a switch goes on stage and everyone's scared of her Except for Riley. He's not scared of anything. It, his head's in the clouds. Um, but the last joke. That was the last joke, by the way. Um, but what I wasn't, what I wasn't, I mean, I've seen her be sweet, funny, hilarious, genuine. This is the first time I've seen Avian vulnerable. And when I say vulnerable, I don't mean being burned to the stake or being drowned in a bathtub. I mean, like, vulnerable, like, vocally in a way that makes you go, okay, you know, put the highlighter down. The bingo cards were hilarious for a few minutes. 
but this this is one of those songs where you're like didn't expect that and now that i've heard it i'm never going to forget it wow when you start up a reaction you're like oh it's venture c they're my friends and they're always uh, you know at least video wise and production wise they're, they're they're pretty predictable because you know carl um and that's part of the charm and then to go such a far direction where everyone's taking a step back musically to create something really really slow meaningful vulnerable and beautiful as a platform as a vehicle to let avian really just reach out to all of you like this it's not a cry for help it's more along the lines of trying to connect but not connect with you in a way that gets you amped up or gets you like venture c metal it's 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 there are a lot of artists that are really good at being vulnerable and being open and textural and and to a way that connects with people and you get used to those people venture c has always been one of those hype bands and everything is so powerful and it's so in your face and there's torches and villagers and pitchforks and and women being dunked in cold water and serial killer locations and it's always been this revolving theme and i'm rambling because i don't want to press play because i i'm trying to control my emotions because it's starting it's getting to me it's getting to me in a way that i didn't expect because it's it because it is it is intimate it is something that is personal wasn't ready for that Touche, Venter C. Touche. That's French for, all right, you got me. All right, so now I'm gonna have to re re reevaluate everything uh, about Ventercy. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't value them before, um, and that I I didn't have a good grasp of what they were trying to do. I always have, but uh, it's it's awesome to see your friends really take a left hand turn. That even to those of us who have loved this band, I don't know, come on, some of us are the old ones, right? So um, I've gone back and listened to all their stuff back before they were called Venture C. If you don't know what they were called before Venture C, now you know you need to go and do the deep dive. Um, this this was something I, I have to think about. I mean, these things are pretty much useless at this point for this one because it is so unpredicted, yet I love every minute of this. Adds a good dynamic. It adds another chapter, another dimension to the band. I mean, I always knew that AVN had the ability to really reach people vocally with harsh vocal, the demon screech, the belting tone, her melodic tone. But this was such a rich power alto. It was vulnerable at the same time being strong. It was a desperate tone trying to get you to understand, hey, listen to what I'm saying. This is very meaningful and I get it. I get it. All right, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd. If you printed out bingo cards, I'm sorry. Essentially, there's like three or four blocks in there, that, and then that's it. Because they just stayed in pocket. They didn't go too far afield. The only thing that I can say is, um, wow. I love every minute of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, I'll have all of Venter C's information in the description below. Please check them out now. Starting tomorrow, on Friday in Houston, Texas, they begin... The second leg, they're joining up with Moonspell, uh, the mighty Eileen, uh, and um, 
oceans of slumber are uh, going west uh, towards California and then up the Pacific uh, coast. Uh, do not miss those shows if you get a chance to see them. And with that, well, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.